So, Bungie yesterday did a massive layoff and I just want to get my thoughts out there. So, that's what I'm going to do. It has been an industry-wide issue this year. Game Studios have overall overexpanded without sustainability in mind and it has caused so many layoffs across the industry, mainly in Sony's point as they've tried to cut down on the live service industry recently. This is all going alongside the rest of the constant issues game devs have faced this year because if you go looking, this year has been absolutely awful for game devs despite being one of the best years for gamers which is something I do suggest looking into as it is interesting to read. So whilst I do find it hard to care too much for the people laid off as I don't know any of them personally nor most, know most of them exist it is absolutely terrible and appalling that presumably Sony would cause this right before the holidays and it's not even just completely no lame employees they've gotten rid of it's very high up people like John Salmon, the guy who did so many icons and emblems and illustrations has gone Sam, Griffin, Bennett and Hippie who are all community managers are gone people from Quality Assurance are gone Michael Salvatore and Michael like, Seacrest who are both composers of Bungie are both gone and it is just sad to see and it's hard to keep hope for the game and Bungie in general when even the guy who's been a part of the soundtrack for all Bungie games since Myth isn't safe. I didn't even know Myth was a game until today, but it was the one Bungie made just before Halo. Micro Seacrest has also made some of the most iconic tracks in Destiny 2 soundtrack. For example, he made Deep Stone Lullaby, Wasteland, Tangled Shore, the Tree of Probabilities, and the Farms themes, just to, make, just to name a few. Then it's Hippie who I am genuinely pissed off that they got rid of her. Whilst I generally disliked her for the better part of a year, she's been Bungie Shield whenever they've made some awful decision. And I just think it's disgusting how after all she's done, the way they pay her back is by just firing her. Next is how this will actually affect the game as a whole. There are people currently acting like this will actually cause the game to die or that it just won't be the same, and I don't see it. After Beyond Light, the game's already been a completely different beast that isn't Destiny 2 or even Destiny 1 anymore, and I can't see it deterring from the path it's currently on. And I just think it's high time that people accept that and stop caring so much, you know? And Destiny dying is just a pipe dream. Do you really think they'll actually kill off their main game, their only source of re income currently, when Marathon is another year and two months out at least? And they don't even know if it'll even be a success because it's an ex extraction shooter and it is a very specific market and a pretty vocal amount of people are already saying they're just not going to play it because it affects destiny and then there's that gummy bear project and matter of so many years and just marathon at this point that we know nothing about which they have to fund somehow and it'd just be stupid to kill off destiny especially when it's one of the highest income years was this year, which makes the layoffs even more insulting when you look at it. But then there's the delay, we're going to get a seven month long season next season, which is a while. However, someone as Destiny as it being good, I don't really mind waiting as someone who actively thinks we shouldn't get any content until they can drop a Destiny free. So I will happily wait as long as it's actually good, it is the end of the current story after all. However, I don't really know what I'm going to do when it comes to YouTube content as I just don't think I can keep content flowing for that long when there is nothing new coming out to talk about. I'll just have to wait and see if they announce some sort of Destiny 1 anniversary back or something. And if they don't announce anything, I'll likely just cover a different game for a bit or just start covering games in general. Commentary is also an idea, but we all know how commentary YouTube is done to So yeah, I'll think of something, but I need ideas or thoughts in the comments. I definitely won't be stopping anytime soon. Like, so expect a Word of Crow video later this week, probably, and adios. Also, to the people who are cancelling pre-orders or saying they'll quit, I'll see you next week.